Welcome, fifth graders. Um, so this one's going to be a quick podcast since we've covered a lot of this in class. Uh, I just want to address some misconceptions um, that you might have. Um, so when we look at the climate and vegetation, um, there's three things you should know. One is the um, distance from the equator uh, is a huge factor. All right. So as we can see, the farther away um, you get in either direction from the equator, the drier it gets, all right? So it's going to lead to dryness, all right? Um, the other one, is, the second one is elevation, okay? Um, and again, if we see over here um, where our highlands are located, even though these ones are dissected by the equator, still because of the elevation, um, as we've learned before, uh, it's colder, um, less things can grow there, less vegetation, less rainfall, so on and so forth. All right. Uh, and then the third one is the rainfall uh, of Africa. All right. And in the rainfall, it's very unpredictable. There are some places that can get over 100 inches a year, um, mainly around here in the rainforest area, but not a lot. Of, over here in the Sahara, we're talking maybe 10 inches a year total. All right. Even less, I'm sure. Um, so it's, it's it is, uh, you know, not a lot of rainfall, therefore not a lot of vegetation. Okay, um, what I'm going to do now is just show you um, some pictures of some of the um, vegetation and climate regions of Africa. Um, so this one is obviously the Sahara. Okay, flat, dry, um, you know, not a lot of rainfall uh, as we said before, and therefore um, it... Uh, so it's not going to support a lot of life. All right, I spelled Sahara wrong. Make sure I spell it right. Okay. Um, so that's, you know, you got to keep that in mind. Um, a lot of people that live here are those nomadic herders. All right. um, if you look, so this is the next one. This is the Sahil or the Step, um, as it's called sometimes. Notice we do have some plants. Okay. As we can see. Um, and here, uh, notice there's more plants back here that actually have vegetation on them, um, but also it's very dry. So when it's not the rainy season, it's very dry there. When it's the rainy season, uh, it's more wet. Okay, and this gets us into um, the kind of the tropical dry region. All right, so this is our tropical dry. Okay. And we can see lots of vegetation here in the trees. Um, still some dry area down here. Um, these are ants, by the way. They're not ants. Um, these are termites. Yum. And they actually taste really good, by the way. Um, so, you know, just, again, some visual pictures. Here, um, if you haven't guessed this one yet, this is the rainforest. All right, and this is where a lot of people live because of all the great things it can provide um, for them. You know, the fish, gra um, plants, animals, um, the timber, which if you can remember from the Amazon, same thing occurs here. Lots of overforestation. Um, so it really impacts um, everything that goes on there economically and environmentally. Um, and then lastly, um, this one right here uh, is an example of, um, this is from South Africa, okay, and this is um, along the coast, all right, so down here is beach, but then if you look in the background, we have mountains, okay, so in a very short period, um, it changes a lot, um, so I hope you enjoyed, uh, a quick one. Make sure you answer those questions down below. If you have more questions, feel free to put them in. We'll use those in class tomorrow. All right, have a great day. Bye.